What's going on everybody? I'm Logan of the Iowa Timber Freaks and in this video I'm going to be showing you one of the best ways to cook up that turkey that you got this spring. And if you haven't got your turkey yet, just be patient because patience kills when it comes to turkey hunting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your spring. Get out there and find some morel mushrooms too. Don't let it slip by. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. You guys are going to like this. Alright everyone, I just wanted to show you here. This is turkey breast off the turkey I got this year. I'm gonna be trimming that off. And for the time being, I'm just gonna put a dry rub on there using Cosmos Dry Rub Honey Chipotle Killer Bee with some Italian seasoning and then some Creole. And then we're just gonna vacuum seal it, throw it in the fridge for one night. And then tomorrow we'll throw it on the smoker. But tomorrow when I take it out of the bag, I'm gonna butterfly it open a little bit and we're gonna make ourselves a bacon wrap stuffed turkey breast. So let's get into this. All right, that's pretty much all I had to do. There wasn't a whole lot to take off. You could spend the time and take that little bit of skin off there still, but I'm not worried about that. So we're gonna just uh, put the dry rub on now. Creole going. This is gonna taste real good once we get it off the smoker. Obviously putting a pretty liberal amount of the seasoning on there. Get both sides obviously. Creole. Killer B. Pretty simple stuff, but it makes for one fantastic chunk of meat. There is a little bit of sugar in this honey chipotle killer bee, so I'm not gonna add any brown sugar or anything right now, but when I smoke it, I'll probably drizzle or baste it with some molasses, and that'll really turn all that dry rub into basically a barbecue sauce so we're gonna let that sit on there for a while and then we'll vacuum seal it it's been about about 10 minutes i'm just gonna throw this in here i'm sure you all have used a vacuum sealer before doesn't take too long then once it hits that seal sequence, I just like to hit the seal button again just to make sure it does have a good seal. And one thing I learned from Steven Ranella, whenever you're doing a big bloody chunk of meat and you got blood that's sucking up through there, you just put a paper towel in there and that works like a charm. Hit that seal button one more time and then we'll be good to go. Throw it in the fridge. Beautiful. All right, catch you all tomorrow. All right, here we go. It's been about, mm, not quite 24 hours yet, but we're just gonna start getting this ready. Basically just gonna take it out of the vacuum seal bag. We're gonna probably trim this section off right here. We're going to turn that into niblets, which you could turn into an appetizer. You could cook that quicker and hand out to your, your friends or your family before this part's done. Then we're going to leave this big chunk here. We're going to put a slice down the middle and kind of butterfly it open. We're going to add our cream cheese, our onion, and a little bit of pepper jack cheese. Probably sprinkle in some of the seasonings. And then we're going to make a bacon net and we're going to wrap it up in bacon. All right, so we got it out of the vacuum seal bag. And like I said, we're going to take off this chunk right here. You're going to want to make sure your knife is real sharp for this. Just take that chunk off just like that. And we're going to turn that into uh, the appetizer niblets. You can cook that a lot quicker and then your friends and family can have something to snack on while they're waiting for the main course. We're going to take off this little chunk at the tip. That'll also go into the niblet pile. And from here, we're just gonna slice this open 
and we're gonna make our concoction of cream cheese, some cheese, some onion, a little bit of seasoning, and then once that's butterflied open, we'll put it in there and stuff it up. Just like this. Kind of pulling the meat back as you're going. And see how that's just kind of opening up like that. You want to try to make sure you don't go too deep so you don't put a hole all the way through it, but even if you do, it's not that big of a deal. Basically just trying to get a nice cavity down into that chunk of meat. Keep working this side out. See that meat looks pretty tender. See, so yeah, I just put a, a hole in that. It's not the end of the world. That looks pretty good like that. And then cool make up our concoction for that and then put it in there. So for this, we're gonna wanna dice up an onion, take off both ends. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do it. Just like to cut down to like the first couple good layers there. Take that off. And then we'll just make sure we got all the skin off. And just basically come down. You want them to be smaller squares. I mean, smaller mints. Not super tiny, but fairly tiny. And there we got pretty good start. That should get us pretty much what we need. It's not that big of a chunk of meat, so that'll work out good. All right, now that we got that diced up, we'll just put that in our Tupperware container. And then I got about a little over half of a brick of cream cheese here. I've had it sitting out for a little while so that way it's not completely cold. It'll just be easier to mix up that way. Rinse my hands. Okay, now that we got our onion and cream cheese in there, I'm just gonna add some more of the Cosmos rub, the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. We don't need too much, just a little sprinkling. That should be good enough. And I'm gonna add some of the Italian seasoning in there as well. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. You know, you can use whatever dry rub you prefer. If you already got one that you like on chicken or beef or anything, it'll work just as good as the stuff I'm using. These are just the combinations that I like. That's looking pretty good. That's pretty mixed up. Now I'll add it to the meat. All right. And so you just want to get as much of that in there as you can. And like I said, you don't want to try this with your cream cheese being extremely cold because it won't hardly spread in there at all for you. And since I put that hole in there. The bacon should help keep that in for the most part, but I'm just gonna add quite a bit just in case it does start leaking on the smoker. As you can tell that little over half of a brick is plenty. We won't use completely all of it, but 
All right, we're gonna get this situated onto a plate and stuff, and then I'm gonna start making my bacon weave, and then we'll get it all wrapped up together, making it look pretty. If you've never made a bacon weave, it's pretty simple. You just kind of get a good layer, you know, your base layer. Some pretty oddly cut bacon, I must say. There you go, now you got your base layer. You're basically just gonna take another, another layer of it, and what you're gonna do is just fold each one of these, every other, just like this. And you're just gonna set this in there. And you're gonna fold those back over. And then just repeat the process, grabbing the other strips, making it every other, coming back over that one you just laid in there. And then you'll lay another strip down. Just like that. And you go back over. And we're gonna get that all situated and then we'll throw our turkey breasts on there that's stuffed and we'll wrap it up we got that all situated we're gonna take this now and we'll set it kind of on the edge and before we do that I almost forgot but we have to add our pepper jack cheese this part is also very simple take that off the brick and just do some fairly thin slices just squares and you can use whatever cheese you want you don't have to use pepper jack cheese you could use mozzarella you could use sharp cheddar you could use kobe jack whatever cheese you like that should be plenty all right we're going to take our cheese slices just add these in. Man, this smells so good. All right, that thing is loaded up. So now, the fun part, we gotta wrap it up. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna try to roll this into a uniform chunk, like such, and then we'll just there's no professional way. Well, there, there probably is a professional way to do this, but you kind of just got to go with it. Start with your one end. And since the bacon is somewhat at room temperature, it makes it a lot easier because it kind of sticks and adheres to the turkey meat. You just slowly kind of start working it, folding in your edges. Coming up over the end like that. And there you have it, something like that. It's not perfect, but that'll definitely work. Yet again, just sticking to the Cosmos here. We'll just give it a little bit of a coloring on the outside, nothing too crazy. And then once we throw it on the smoker, I'm gonna be drizzling and putting on some of that molasses there. And that should really help turn that into a barbecue sauce of its own. Got the Kingsford long cooks and smokes. As you can tell, it's a rain day. Perfect day to do a little smoke.
Well, when I was at the store, I forgot to pick up toothpicks. So I had to make uh, my own toothpicks. The bottom side of the wrap. They can start coming apart a little bit. Not a big deal. Once it kind of gets a little bit more cooked, it'll start tightening up a little bit. And the molasses there. That'll just turn that dry rub into a barbecue sauce pretty much. And it'll be delicious. Shooting for 165. Got a little more time to go. Well, I just probed it. It was like 163. So we are good to go. Ooh, that thing is stuffed up. Good. We got the meat inside, now it's just time to give it uh, about 10-15 minutes to rest and then we'll slice it open. All right, time to slice this thing open, see what we're dealing with. Wow, that smells so good. Can't wait to try this. You can put this in a tortilla. You could eat it as it is. You could put it over with some mashed potatoes. No matter how you eat it, it's gonna taste real good. Mmm. All right, thanks everyone who tuned into this one. You know, you gotta try out this recipe if you got a bird from this year. Maybe you got one in the freezer from last year still. You know, invite your friends, your family over. This thing will not disappoint them. You'll be a crowd pleaser. And until then, I hope you all enjoy this. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be a big help. Thanks, y'all.